know why I just I get the job. <laughs> Sentence Wallace to death, giving him the death of an outlaw and a traitor. Today, we will celebrate Wallace's life, the life of a hero. In 2005, on the 700th anniversary of Wallace's judicial murder, a strange coincidence happened here in Eldersley. A huge storm shattered the body of this ancient yew tree behind me that Wallace received in London. But small cuttings were taken from it, just in case it couldn't recover. But I'm glad to say that it has. And a couple of months ago, one of the saplings was replanted here. With the rebirth of a hope, not just for the next generation, but for many, many generations to come. And we hope that society will continue throughout the many long years of the growth of this young tree. And today, we will hear from our speakers the reasons why the spirit of Wallace is very much alive today, even after 700 centu seven centuries. There are not many people who have walked this earth who have made such an impact on our nation's people to be remembered thus. The story of Wallace still inspires people the world over. His courage and bravery and adversity is something we could all aspire to. I'd now like to ask our first speaker, Ted Christopher. Lorraine and Bona Gale. And I was a wee bit worried if it was going to affect the turnout of the march here today. But I overlooked the fact we've got Davy Ross up there pulling strings with the weather. <laughs> Not that weather should ever put us off coming here because the man that we've come to say thank you to today suffered far more for his country than a wee bit of rain. ...to get independence from within another country. But we're not within another country. We are another country.
Perhaps you can do cartwheels across the sky, it'll probably leave cell tires everywhere, that would work. <laughs> anyway, as I said, we're here to say thank you to the man on behalf of Scots and the Swords of Old, but with the two crossing strokes of the pen. The goal I'm referring to, of course, can be summed up in one word, and it is a simple but very powerful word. It is the most powerful word in any language, and this word is synonymous with Wallace in Scotland. I've been born a devious, greedy foreign ruler. If I had seen through eyes filled with malice and envy this beautifully magnificent land and all she possessed and had to offer, I know I would want to rule her as part of my kingdom as well. Southern Britain to Roman rule. Total conquest of what we now know as England was achieved by Rome under the Emperor Claudius in 43 AD, but they could never quite extend the empire to include Caledonia. It would eventually dawn on the emperors that no one foot soldier already feared. We really did invent fighting. <laughs> the Emperor Hadrian thought to solve the problem by ordering the construction of a big wall in 128 AD. And when that didn't work 14 years later, the Emperor Antonius had the Antonine Wall built. Well, that didn't work either. Eventually the Romans realised that they could never defeat us and buggered off back to Rome in the year 410 AD. On October the 2nd, 1263, Viking forces led by King Hakon Hakonsson of Norway battled through violent warnings and rode at pace from Edinburgh Castle. He became separated in the dark rain-lashed windswept night from his guides and was to fall from his horse and to his death over cliffs at Kinghorn and Fife. And so, the darkest period in Scotland. It reads thus, and forgive my pronunciation, but here goes. <laughs> Edwardus Primus Torum, Malesicus Tertinoet, Blackton Server. We paid a heavy bloodstock toll, so foreign powers could their control our yelling hearts and our Celtic souls. We, the Scots, who stands proud on the world stage, our discoveries invention to the world gave, suffering ease, countless lives now saved. My family has been a happy distraction, and I'm delighted to be joined today by my girls, Eleanor and Catherine, <laughs> exhausted under the tree over there. Hi, girls. <laughs> and for the time spent with them, I have absolutely no regret. I have over the years been involved in many creative continues long after his death. His spirit is a guiding light for those who followed. Indeed, when the news was heard, his comrades, like Thomas Gray, his brothers, and others, like the widow de Murray, said at once, We must free him, now! We'll find a way, we could attack! It must be his aftershave! <laughs> <laughs> Have you got that school flag in? Is that not what David Ross wanted you to promote in the schools? <laughs> and again, guys. <laughs> 